But thanks for your patience. Nightly Strategy Podcast for Tortoise Capital for April 12, 2023. Start with the uh, 30-minute swing portfolio, as always, with Alcoa. So, Alcoa, we, uh, we held this right into the close yesterday and exited. Um, I didn't make the short trade, which was there right from the open. So this looked like a pretty good exit. There was a morning play and then a morning hook available, uh, but span of control, I had no play on Alcoa today. AI, the software company, uh, we gave it, after this little bump up, we gave it a chance. Uh, it started to fail, so that's about a minus minus. Point three on that one, nothing, no follow through. Flat. Caterpillar, uh, we had the one uh, entry yesterday held into the close. Today it just started to sell off, so we took took the plus two. It started to close poorly. Uh, I didn't want to play it on the short side, though, so we took our two and ran. Cliff, uh, we are, oh my, for some reason it didn't draw. Hold on. We took the exit this morning in here. So we had one, two on the long side. Uh, it initially gapped up and then started to sell. Everything else in the market was weak. So we took that exit. Uh, and that was one, two, three, four, five, about six on the first one and three on the second one. So about plus nine overall on Cliff. Don't know why that didn't paste. That should be right there. Uh, Chevron. So uh, this closed yesterday after this um, tight congestion zone and it was making lower highs. So that's like a cotta two. Uh, it collapsed through the PSAR, and as it was making this collapsing dragon on the dragon, we took it with the standard risk short, smashed. Uh, on the second collapsing dragon, added a position. So we're two positions into that one with about one, two, three on the first one, and scratch on the second one. So we're about plus three in hand, and what I like is that it's below uh, the support level and it's close to the 30-day low, and that thing is uh, winter, spring, winter, and the Red River is expanding. So this one has uh, collapse all over it. You know, if we're to look back further, that's a, uh, that's a Godzilla to the downside all day. That's just, that's at a 150-day low. No, I'm sorry, that's 30-day low. If I look on the daily, it's, uh, yeah, it's 150-day low, too. Um, that thing is just nothing good on that whatsoever. You should have put, like, four positions on that one. Uh, this is, um, let's see, we're back to 30 minutes. Yeah, this is Devon Energy. Uh, we took the, uh, took the Cotta 2. Uh, yesterday it closed well. It ran up pretty nicely and then started, when it fell through the Dragon and was coming down to touch the PSAR, just took it for plus one. No overnight risk. Yeah, sorry, that was, did I say EA? Yeah, that's Dish Network getting smashed. Um, Electronic Arts, uh, this is a, this started off as a one, two, three entry, uh, and it closed well, uh, closed well. Today, a couple nice gaps up, but then it came back and penetrated the PSAR. So we took plus two and no overnight risk. Uh, emerging markets. 
So we had, um, this was one where we held uh, two positions on the long side into the close. Uh, it initially gapped up and then started to sell off hard. So we just cashed it at the PSAR flip, gave it a little bit of room. And that's about 3R on the first one, 2R on the second one. For about 5R on the first uh, sequence on the long side. And then it did this. And notice the R10 wiggle and the fall turn to winter. And this thing is just starting to get punished. So we took the short with the standard risk. It closed poorly. So we're about plus one in hand. And uh, I think more coming. First target tomorrow would be here and then here. And if it breaks below uh, 39, look out below. Ethereum, we took the three-day gift. You know, here was the Z3 pinch breakout. Could not make any new headway. And when it rolled over through the dragon, we just took it for plus two. Ethereum's a, a note. You can't short it, but um, you might be short the uh, the underlying. Uh, Mexico, This we had one position on the PSAR flip in the SSC, and we cashed that one after the gap up and then the rollover. That seemed like a reasonable place to get out, and that one was plus four for three days of work. Brazil, this is the one that got away yesterday. You will recall that we had uh, we had held our nose and bought the, um, the uh, PSAR flip and then we got the the gift, the great big gift of this gap up. And then when that con that started to resume, we took the second position. And then here, uh, it just felt too good. And we had about something like 10R on that one between the two positions. So we cashed it all yesterday. Uh, today, there was a gap up and continued to go. Uh, I was so far out of the zero state for not having... <laughs> those two positions on and given up another six or eight. Uh, all I could do was watch it. Uh, it closed poorly at the PSAR, so I would not be surprised to see a retracement back to here and then here. And if that fails, that gap could fill pretty quickly. I would be interested on the long side above 29.75. Uh, Intel, uh, this is a Kata 2. And uh, so we just took it. It closed very weakly. So we're about plus one in hand. And it's well below that channel. Um, and in the winter. So that nice run up that we had in, uh, in the semis feels, it's starting to feel vulnerable here. You know, it's had six or eight days uh, to break out of this, to break out of that, but we're starting to get lower lows and lower highs. And, you know, if this support level right here breaks tomorrow, that is not much support. I mean, you could see some support here at 3050, but otherwise it's down to here in the 10 day low at 29. So this one feels cautiously optimistic on that on that decay. Willing to hold that one more day. International paper. We speculated on the gap and go, which had cleared the emerging dragon. Um, it started to roll over today, so we took the 0.5. Happy to have it. No overnight risk. IYR, same basic trade. PCR flip, happy to cash it. Uh, both of those close in the bottom of their large range days, so I could actually see that one working to the short side tomorrow. Uh, the one I preferred today on the short was uh, regional banks. 
still some residual pain and suffering. So this attempted long was a scratch today, and then it rolled over and gave me a cot of two short right near the close. So I'm looking for weakness right off the bat to get it down to about this level and uh, two or three R. But flat right now, at getting short at the close. Uh, marijuana, uh, just have not been able to get on the right side of the angels. We tried a cot of two here. That was a quick fail. We tried the short. That was a minus one with a gap up today. Um, took this one on the long side with a standard risk, and we'll just see how that goes. It was actually one of the stronger sectors today. Uh, next one up is clean energy. This is the, uh, we closed about a plus three on that one. And then it gave us a cot of two to the downside near the close. So we're short one position, standard risk, uh, basically flat right now. <clears throat> Rivian was a, we cashed a no lose plus dinner for two here. At, at one point it had been this high, closed here, and then it just started to fail some more. So we got this. Then when everything started to fail near the close, that one felt like it was already below the key support level. So I'm looking for a short to manifest tomorrow. Uh, treasuries, uh, we ventured into the SSC here after that harsh move, tried that. It uh, rolled over and started to fail. We took a minus 0.5 on that one. No follow through. Tesla, um, we stayed with this one overnight. It gapped up and then sold off harshly. So we just took the one, two, three R on, on this entry. And then when it rolled over and fall turned to winter, took the short and we're holding about plus one on the short side. And it just entered the winter over here and left the Red River. So uh, there's a good chance of more failure tomorrow. And if it falls below this support level, we could have um, some punishment there in uh, Tesla. And then last but not least, uh, U.S. Steel. Um, this is one where we had um, SSC, em second position, emer Emerging Dragons, and we just basically canceled that one at the close yesterday and then didn't have the span of control to trade any of that move, although it was tradable. So a uh, quick update to the swing portfolio. There was very little follow through today. And uh, so mostly it was uh, exiting trades, raising capital, taking a few shots for tomorrow uh, for this next phase. Sniper trade of the day. Uh, we are on Alcoa. Three minute. Here was yesterday's close. Here was the gap up. The th OR3. Uh, on the second bar, I was very tempted to take this one. I did not. Didn't have the will. Basically flinched. Uh, and then missed an R right off the bat, uh, was able to have the willpower to take the collapsing dragon with a standard risk. So that that's one that got away, did not have the will, was not prepared to trade right at the open. <sighs> Pardon me. Um, that's about 1.5. That's an orderly reversal with an exit right at the edge of the dragon. It had five bars to fail further. It did not. So we took that one. Then the, it continued to piece our flip. So I took the standard entry and I'm looking to get this with an SSC, check or hold.
That one fails for a half hour loss immediately. I stop and reverse. Orderly exit for about 2R on the uh, COTA 2. Uh, when uh, the uh, spring turns to summer and uh, it's continuing to grind, so I take the Kata 2. Second position on the R10 wiggle and continuation. Standard exit. Um, I get short on a, st on a Kata 2 because the whole market is starting to roll over at this point. And this is a uh lower highs and this was an area where it got weak already once <sighs> missed the second entry span of control standard exit and then i was out of energy there tired today So this one was, uh, you know, 1.5. This one was minus 0.5. This one was 1.5. This one was 2. And this one was 1.5. So we got 3.5, 6.56. 6. So total about 6R today. Um, it actually turned out better than I... It didn't feel good in, when I was inside that. Um, but it was kind of a low-energy day for me. And standard 30-cent risk in Alcoa. It's just a great trader in both directions. All right, let's take a look at the traders today. All right, so this is uh, Hamad, one of our new foundations traders, killing me with this chart. Uh, a couple things I'm going to just notice in, um, where's my annotation? There we are. All right, so we're on 10-minute charts. Not one of my standard time frames, although I understand it. Um, so that's the opening. He sees this. And I'm reading that as the Bollinger Band mean. Z minus 1, 2, and 3. Uh, plus Z1, Z2, Z3. So that's basically like a Z, you know, uh, departing the river uh, and then taking the quick exit, re-entering on the PSAR flip. Uh, when you're that far up, instead of letting that scratch, especially since you're down about probably a half an hour, uh, an exit here allows you to at least scratch. So I'd be looking just for money management, especially when you're learning these positions. I'd look to get that one right there and not let that second trade go to zero. Notice how much easier this is to read. So there's something to be said about visual comfort. All right, this is Satya on the... Um, Three minutes on coin. He's going to bring home four and a quarter. Uh, I don't know if that's short. Maybe that's late on the OR3. I see that as a uh, kind of a collapsing dragon. Might have added a second position here. Beautiful exit. SSC reversal. Maybe a bar late. Good exit. I'd have been tempted to reenter here uh, on a Kata 2 uh, as it's crossing the VWAP. Uh, and then I probably would have stopped and shorted that. I love the quick exit and the quick re-entry, the revenge trade. So that's 4.2. That's just about as nice as you can play that one. That's in coin. Um, 
Woj on his four standard symbols, 1.7 in, in Devon, excuse me. Some grinding going on in here, but does get the fat part of the trade. Uh, Tesla gets the fat part of the trade, but misses the middle fat and the third fat. So that's 2.3. That could have been 5. Uh, U.S. Steel, all trades that he took during the meeting, missed the one he wanted, and then just grinding. Ugh. Then after the meeting's over, he just gets right. Those little grinding things don't cost much, so there's every reason to believe I could have kept going. So I like the quick hits. I do not consider those wasted. Uh, I think you're giving back way too much on that one. Notice your efficiency here compared to your capture. Uh, so lack of efficiency here. No, no limits on quick hits. I mean, uh, you mean like how many times I'll keep going for it? As long as you're not losing money on it, it's as if you never even took the original trade. It's like you're getting a free lottery ticket and it didn't win anything. So how many free lottery tickets do you want to open? All of them. Just keep taking them. As long as you got time, will, pattern, and money, keep going for it. Um, giving back too much on um, on NVIDIA. Look, at that had five bars, and we could have been exiting at the edge of the dragon instead of up here. Um, and then didn't stick with the trade. But still, 4.2 for the day. That ain't bad. Bullish quiet still. Uh, we had that little bit of a sell-off today, which starting to erode the long side. The risk on from the risk Z is still there. Still plenty of room to the upside. Uh, in the Dow tactical... Just a couple auto framers, Caterpillar and Cisco. A couple 5DDs here in Intel and Johnson & Johnson. That's the one I'm interested in, that, that short in Intel. And then uh, DuPont <coughs> and Goldman were the winners today. In the tactical ETFs, uh, nothing on the auto framer because we're so close to 10-day highs. No patterns whatsoever. Uh, big gains in EuroAsia, Brazil, um, Latin America, oil. Auto framer and squeezes, nothing unusual there. S&P 500, um, a handful of stealthy Godzillas. One Godzilla starting to wake up. Only the only VXX today in the tactical symbol. I'm always attracted to. Uh, Double green volatilities. Dish network, really, that's the sign of collapse right there. Yeah, that's the one we want. 
standard uh, auto framers still being dominated by the summer. Um, Ethereum and Bitcoin still leading the way here a little bit. Brazil and Latin America, oil and Europe. And wrapping it up with the uh, frog list of uh, high value trading symbols, which is comes from a combination of large ranges and strong consistency from the frog quality number. And then you multiply those two columns together, and that gives you this value, the trading value ratio. And then we rank that from biggest to smallest. So that gets you to Tesla, Marijuana, Clean Energy, NVIDIA, Devon, Texas Instruments, etc. All right, that's everything we got for you today. We'll get this published and posted and be ready for them tomorrow on uh, Turnaround Thursday. Tactical Thursday. Take good care.